Welcome back to the Cargroves channel. And today I'm gonna take you guys back to Colorado. We're gonna take out my good friend Kevin's diesel Colorado ZR2 up into the mountains and just play around for the day. Bro, are you wearing a Fox Racing? This doesn't get serious today, huh? <laughs> it might. All right, so we've taken this uh, Colorado ZR2. What's this pass called? Brawlins Pass. A Brawlins Pass. So I think my first impression of the ZR2 is that it's a bone stock pickup truck that can get you to the Continental Divide, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you're getting up here in a bone stock Tacoma or F-250. If, if, you, if you make it, it's gonna beat the crap out of you. <laughs> what do you think? Probably. <laughs> So, me, Kevin, Sarah, just did the, what do you call the trail? Rollins Pass. I'm Rollins, Lake. yeah, Rollins Pass up to Jenny Lake, Jenny with a Y. The Continental Divide. Yeah, when you looked at the Continental Divide, and it probably took us, I think going up there was a little slower. It took us maybe like an hour and a half up, and maybe like an hour down. Yeah. And... Right as we're leaving the trail, the trailhead. Let me get this guy. See this modified Tacoma. So this freaking basic bitch dude strapped a GoPro on his truck, drove like 200 feet up the trail, and then left. And I'll let you guys take a wild guess at what he's gonna post on Instagram saying that he did today. I hope everybody from Denver overlanding knows who this guy is and gets his butt because I'm tired of these fake uh, enthusiasts for everything. We are Jake driving the ZR2. Yeah, man. This thing's doing good, I'm, li I'm liking it. It has way less body roll than other um, like four wheel drive inspired things I've driven, which is nice. Like in the GX, like I throw everybody around. Like not on purpose, just driving like this. So, no, this thing's, it's nice, man. I think, uh, I think I would definitely pick this over a Jeep. Yeah. <coughs> 
sorry, go ahead, Kevin. No, anyway, it was just really funny. Yeah. Just know that I was a car person. Ah. <laughs> All right, so just some quick thoughts on the ZR2. That That's a nice truck. So yeah, it's got the really good off-road suspension. So we took it up to that pass in Colorado and it was rough. I mean, really rough. Thankfully, it's got really good suspension. And like I said, it soaked it up. Um, you know, we saw a couple vehicles that were not to the same level suspension wise as us and they were getting thrown around we did pass a couple really heavily modified jeeps um yeah for a stock truck that can pull a lot of load i mean it's a diesel it gets good gas mileage it's got good suspension i mean it was a nice truck it the the other thing that's kind of surprising is most of the time when you put a lift and big tires on a pickup or an suv i have one they they wallow around the corners and they throw everybody around the car that thing handled the mountain roads like a regular it drove like a camry on the roads but then you can go off road you can pull trailers so yeah i mean this is my vote for a zr2 colorado whether you get gas or diesel i like the diesel i thought it was nice it had really good engine braking in the mountains um so yeah yeah definitely a fan that's a really nice pickup so again I hope you guys like the review. It's not a normal car review. I don't need to tell you the specs on the car. You can look them up on Google. But yeah, definitely this is a solid vote for me for the ZR2. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.